would you look at this? Somebody come and look at that. Do, do you, keep, read this up here. You, it go to show you that it's still alive and well. Here it is, 2022. This is outrageous right here. Now, a <clears throat> little, little bit about this story right here. Um, this young man, supposed to be a 24-year-old from Gulfport, Mississippi, and he was the one pled guilty to uh, mounting a cross in the front yard to intimidate a black family. That's the reason why he put it there to sit and set it on fire. Now, he said that, uh, they said that he was uh, doing a lot of derogatory remarks towards the black people and all that type of stuff. So, I guess after they got him and everything, uh, the assistant DA, well, the assistant uh, attorney general, for civil rights said, burning a cross invokes a long and powerful history, particularly in Mississippi, of an impeding physical violence against black people. But do you think they actually care about that? Because if they did, there's no way in the world that this young man would have the hatred that he had towards black people in his heart, at 24 years old. So they're letting us know right there that it's being taught inside the homes. So that there's plenty more where he come from. You best to believe that. But uh, let me give you a little bit here. Uh, the Department of Justice will continue to prosecute those who use racially motivated violence to drive people away from their homes or communities. Um, they said that uh, he admitted to violating the Fair Housing Act according to court documents, and he's been sentenced uh, on March the 9th of 2023 and faces maximum charges up to 10 years plus a fine of $250,000. I tell you, black people, y'all need to stay vigilant. This is ridiculous. I mean, it's everywhere you go. Black people can't even go nowhere without having a problem out of somebody.